The holiday season is a time when many donate to charities and volunteer for needy causes. There's another way to give back, and it involves going on vacation. Let's bring in Kimberly Haley Coleman. She's the founder of Global Wear, a nonprofit organization that offers volunteer vacations lasting one to two weeks in seven countries. She joins us now from Dallas. Welcome to the flip side. Hi, thanks for having me. Good so, morning. Good morning. Well, tell us all about this idea and, and how popular has the idea of a volunteer vacation become? Yeah, they've really gotten popular. Uh, we've seen a 225% increase in volunteer registrations this year alone, and particularly with families. So, uh, particularly families who want their kids to be exposed to what other people in other countries have in the way they live. Kimberly, what do people do on volunteer vacations? Well, every single program we have is very different, as you might imagine. But we do everything from work with deaf orphans in Peru to building Lorena stoves. We do all sorts of environmental projects and clearing paths. Uh, we teach basic English instruction, basic computer skills. Uh, it's a very wide scope of activities. So how much of this is roughing it? Because I know for a lot of people, I think that's one of their fears. A lot of people, you know, sure. they're used to their creature comforts. They would never go camping, for example. They want to go to a resort. But these people might, and Stephanie's raising her hand, you know, but, and that's not a bad thing. I'm afraid of spiders and snakes, See? so that's not happening. There you go. So you just kind of wonder. <laughs> well, but, but, but you're also a good person. You might do this, but you need to have a certain amount of creature I comfort, right? I need to do right? it in my own way. Right. So what's, what's the answer? Well, I hear you, and I'm a girl who keeps my nails painted all the time, <laughs> and I love doing this. But it is a good question because, again, this is a very broad range of accommodations. So, for example, we have programs in Thailand where we have no running water, no electricity, no flushing toilets, and yet anyone who's ever gone on that program comes back saying it was the most luxurious mm time they've ever had. On the other side of the spectrum, we have program in Cusco where you have electricity and running water and so forth. And yet there are other challenges that might make it emotionally wrenching. But it is a wide range and, and there is some roughing it. And we have programs that we specifically call the road less traveled for people who are willing to be a little bit more adventurous. You said emotionally challenged. How so? Well, when our program in Cusco, we work with deaf orphans, and these are children that are not likely to be adopted uh, because of the way the Peruvian system works. So they don't have the most important thing there is, is someone to love them. They also don't have much in the way of education. Almost all of them become beggars. So when you're working with these kids, whether you're teaching them self-esteem exercises, job skills, computer skills, uh, we do all sorts of projects with them, but when you leave, you know that they still don't have a family, and that is emotionally wrenching. Can you talk to us a little bit about cost? Because these vacations are often very expensive, and some people sure. would think, listen, I'm already volunteering my time. Now I have to pay thousands of dollars sure. as well. So where does that money go? That's a good question, and our programs are not, I mean, if you wanted to go and volunteer here in the U.S., if you're wanting to do something the least expensive way, that's the way to do it, and you can always go any place in the world and look for where you can do some good. Um, about 85 to 90 percent of the program fee goes directly to the community that we're working with, and the programs generally cost between $800 to $1,000. However, the entire cost is a tax-deductible expense because we are a 501c3 nonprofit charity. And people like me, I'm a volunteer. I don't have a salary. So the money goes to the programs to buy projects, to buy materials. It also covers the cost of accommodations, food, medical insurance, in-country transportation, and so forth. Now, I just have to ask you, when you said that people say the trip to Thailand is, what did you say, it was one of the most... People feel that the, the family and the environment in Thailand are such that they really, they, the environment is about peace and caring for one another. And they have very little, but they do things like, they make spectacular food. Their work ethic is very different from ours. You spend a lot of time relaxing and enjoying and... Uh, I mean, we actually often have to fight to be able to work in Thailand because mm. people will want to cook and care for you so well. Um, and there also is an interesting sort of um, cultural reverse um, situation going on where if they believe in reincarnation and they believe that people, if you're born into wealth, it's because you deserve it from your past goods, the things that you've done. And so it's an interesting dynamic. Um, but it's the best way to get to know people, really, is working with people who have needs.